Hey everybody and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Today, rather than just doing making random models, what I'm gonna do um, is build a house. Build a 3D house. So I've got my floor plan here. You can find these on the internet, just go on your local, well in the in the UK we can just go on the local real estate or um, websites, look at a house and you can get hold of the floor plan. So that's what I've done. Um, so it's only a bungalow because I thought well I'd keep it to just like one floor and that's the ground floor rather than far arsing around, although there's quite a lot there for a ground floor. I mean, you've got your two bedrooms, uh, the kitchen, the dining room, which is in the middle of the bedrooms. Um, this one's got a little ensuite. Got your bathroom, the kitchen, some sort of little cupboard thing, the hallway. You've got a little porch going to outside, and you've got your lounge at the front there. Um, so what we're going to do first, some of this video will be speeding up because, you know, I'm sure you don't want me to be bored to death watching me go all around the perimeter. And that's what we're going to do to start with. I'll just show you um, exactly what we're going to do, exactly what I'm going to do. Um, I mean, obviously, if you've done this sort of thing before, then, yeah, you can crack on with how you do things. Um, if you're new to all this, um, you can follow. Um, so all I've done there was a shift A, and then we're going to select a plane. Um, we're just going to bring it on over. I think we might need to just bring it above the thing there. I'm going to press number seven, so we've got a top-down view. I'm just going to scale it in. So S for scale, and then just bring it on down to the thickness of the wall there. But I want to start up in this corner here. Um, let's just make sure we are to the proper. I mean, obviously, it doesn't have to be bang on. Um, but yeah, that's where we're going to start. We are going to start there. Okay. Now, if you just press tab, go into edit mode, and we want to select these two um, vertices. And then what we're going to do, press E to extrude on the Y plane because we're coming down. But right, we're going to stop here because we have a window here and then i mean you can go over it and then put the windows in later um but this is just the way that i do it and then i'm going to do e and y again and then stop there because that's where that window ends e and y again because we've got a door there and then e and y oh y again and just stop there so we know we've got a door there Right, just here we've got a little part of a wall, so we're just going to come down slightly, stop there, and there, because later on what we'll do is we'll pick these two and then just extrude out, and that's what we're going to do on all the ex internal walls as well. So we'll just do E and Y straight down to the end, or straight down to there, E and Y again, and there we go. Okay, so now we want to select these two vertices and now we're going to extrude on the X so E and then X on We will um, start on the other bits and pieces. So what I'm just doing here is just bringing it up. Now these two vertices, I'm going to press W and I'm going to merge. 
to the last and then this one as well w and then you can do alt m just to merge to the last one so they're all joined together now oh look, i forgot to do the wall <laughs> oh i didn't account for the inner wall i did there but i haven't here but that's okay because what we can do is just control r and then just bring it on over bring it there control r bring that on over so we've still done it but we just messed it up so make sure you don't mess yours up so just bring it on over and that one just so we can do the inner walls that one's done that one's done that one isn't done whoa <laughs> didn't want to do that um yeah so right scrap my whoa 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 um w and merge to last w and merge to last um and I've just got to add in, looks like this one here. Is we're gonna start from the top. or well, this is the front of the house, if you like. So we're gonna start with these two and just extrude along the Y. And then I'm not really sure what that is there. I don't know if that's like a little window maybe between the lounge and the porch. I mean, would you have such a thing? Maybe you would. Not something I've ever seen, but I'm not saying that it wouldn't be done. I'm just saying it's a bit odd. Um, where are we going now? On the X, E on the X. Um, so I'm going to just take it out there. E on the X, so we can have. And then what we'll do is that's floor. We can use it as like a. I can't remember what you call it. And then we'll join this with this, a W merge. Same with this one, W merge to the last. And then we want to, and then extrude along the X again. And then extrude along the X again. Yeah, so I just think, you know, it'd be good to do something different for a change. So if you follow, if you like what you see so far, just w get, give us a thumbs up. If you've got any comments, if you have any questions, just uh, drop them in the comments section below and I will uh, answer what I can. Um, so this one, yeah, this one's taken a little bit longer than my normal videos, but what I'm gonna do is um, E on the Y. Sometimes I forget what I'm doing. We have done it. There it is. 
what we've got to do now is remember where the bloody doors are because when we extrude we don't want to extrude where the doors are okay so what we're going to do is we're going to select all oops that A for all and you see where let's just go back in there right you see where all these doors are what we need to do is shift we need to press faces do shift and I'm on still on the old right click to select so if you're on the left click then you need to do the left click do shift shift and Oh, I didn't do the one there. Oh. Why didn't I do that? That's okay, that doesn't matter. I can just quickly finish this off on the Y. That one and that one on the Y. And on the Y. And then... Let's just... W emerge. Yeah, should have done that on it, wasn't that? Would have saved a bit of time. What? Oh, we didn't even connect these ones either. And you know what? It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. Um, but we'll do it anyway. Because we'll keep it all the same. Right, have we done, got everything now? Have we done it all? I believe we have. Right, so now we select A to select everything. Okay, now we want to select faces because what we don't want selected is door. So we do shift, right click or left click, whichever you've got set up. Only where the doors are. Okay. So all we want is the doors back. Nothing more. Because when we... Um, oh, we want that one. I don't want that one in there. Either, do we? So, I oh, want that one there. So, obviously, your plans will be different. Let me just check to make sure we got all the doors. <laughs> got them, got them, got them, got them, got them, got them. I don't know what that is there. Is there supposed to be a door on this one? Oh, that one there. Um, so I don't know what that is. I'm presuming it's a window. But there we go. Right, what we want to do now is extrude this on the Z. Um, <laughs> and we want to extrude, I say, about meters so we're just gonna have to have a little guesstimate and then what we we'll do is we'll get the tape measure out just to measure E on the Z so E on the Z oh, look at that uh, okay oh what happened there so the room I'm in the room I'm in at the moment is 2.4 so that's what we're gonna do well that's what I'm gonna do 2.4 you don't have to um, round about 2.4, that'll go, that'll do. There we go. Okay. Um, so there's, so as you can see, the doors look like mega thin. But we'll sort that out. We don't need to worry too much about that. Um, so what we're going to do about these top bits, okay. So what I normally do is do a control R. So you've got a loop cut pretty much almost all the way around. Um, yeah, almost. Not quite there, is it? So we're going to do a loop cut there. And then we. So that's one at the top. So point. 2.4 so 0.4 bring it down to 2 meters so that's 1 bring it down to 0.6 edge slide up to 0.6 so that will give us a more or less 
the head height 0.6. I wonder if that's going to work on everything. <laughs> so take it to the top with one, and we need to bring it down to 0 0.6. 0 0.6. There we go, that'll do. Okay, so it's going to be like 200 mil. So that's two meter doorway, two meter high doorway. I mean, that's going to be pretty much. Take it to the top and just break down the point six. Um, yeah, is that it? Is that the more done? Because what we've got to do now is we're going to go into face mode, okay, and then you see these ones here, we're going to bridge it, so we we'll select the two faces, press W, and then we're going to bridge, bridge faces, and then that gives us the top of the, the top there, okay. If you didn't already know this one I'm gonna keep that high because maybe we'll have folding doors in there or something I don't know yet may it may change my mind we'll have to see um, WB I'll tell you what I'm gonna do a save because <laughs> I haven't quite saved it yet <laughs> and the last thing I want to do is Oh, that's infinite preview stuff. Oh no, it's a video. For some reason, I put it in video. <laughs> Bit odd, I know. Floor. So if I was you, I'd save it as soon as possible. <laughs> Just in case it all goes wrong. Okay. And is that on all done? Maybe let's have a little looky. It certainly looks like they're all done. So, tomorrow, I don't know why that one. I mean, that nah, we can just delete faces. What? Let's get rid of that edge there. Is that the right edge? Oh, this is where it all went wrong, isn't it? So I think maybe I had a double face there, maybe. Because it hasn't done the... No, I can't. For some reason I can't put a thing on there. So what we're going to do is just going to use the knife tool and just sort of guesstimate where it's going to be. So we just use the knife tool there. Just to put the cut in <clears throat> and then put the door. W bridge. There we go. <laughs> right, that's all the doors done. So I'm going to call it it for today. Um, and then what we want to do is try and get the scale of it better because obviously the doors are, or some of the doors are like way too thin. Um, so yeah. So tomorrow's video. We're going to just scale it out a little bit um, and see see how that goes. So let's render. No. Yeah, it's not too shabby, if I do say so myself. So anyway, thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell if you want to come along for the ride on this wonderful masterpiece. Um, we will be filling it up with lots of different models. Um, at least we'll have something to aim for. And so, yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell. Um, <clears throat> the kitchen will be quite good fun. Um, any comments, drop them down below. Um, thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next video. Ta for now.